Hello, everybody. I think this is on. Yeah, this is on. How you doing? We're playing Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater. As you might know, I love the Fatal Frame series. People don't seem to like this game or this port. We're playing on the PC. We're playing on the legitimate Steam version. Hey, Shrike. Hey, hello. As you can also see, the stream layout's a little different. We got some some stuff down down over there. It's over there. Some stuff above. 61 hours remaining until extra life. So we can see that little countdown as we go along. I have the heart monitor there, but it's not on, so it would just be zero. But we are going to wear a heart monitor. So you can see the spook in real time. As well as, you know, face cam in real time. But anyway, let's check some settings. I checked early, but I just want to double check. We could have English sub uh, audio. And then Japanese subtitle, or French, a lot of different subtitles. But I think I don't want to hear English speakers from 2014 dubbing. I just, I, mm, I think I'm good. We'll just have subtitles on. I already increased the lighting. Graphics should be fine. If we need to increase the, ooh, there's a different operation mode. We'll, we'll fuck around with that. That's, that's fine. But anyway, I've never played this game because I did not own a Wii U. I have a Wii, but there was no way in hell I was going to buy a Wii U. Hey, Zarasar. So, let's see how it is. Apparently, it's episodic, which is odd. And it is a work of fiction, which is not odd. And it has disturbing images of violence and horror. Prologue working with the deep Miyu Hinasaki. Spirited away in the vicinity of Mount Himaki, Hikami? Hikami. People have been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. One such girl is Miyu Hinasaki. She awakens to find herself in an old, half flooded building. Alright, so she's already been grabbed by ghosts, so almost guaranteed she's fucked. Like, she's. she's probably already dead. A lot of people die in Fatal Frame games. Usually not the protagonists. Not a, that's not a guaranteed thing, though, that you can survive just because you're a protagonist. Depends on the ending, too. There's a lot of endings in these games. We'll be going for whatever one we happen to get. Uh, usually it takes multiple playthroughs to get anything. Also, because this is the last Fatal Frame game made, to my knowledge, looks really good! Like, that looks really good. Plus, this is a port. I don't know if they did anything special. Is she into the timer? Because it's just slowly moving. Look at those wet physics. You have to be wet <laughs> if you want to be... Oh, wow. There's a lot of dead people. I always, I always find it weird. We always play horror games after October. This is the way it goes. But nah, we're good. Wet Tricks is not a horror game. It's a good game. At least I remember it being a good game. Oh yeah, you better run. You should fucking go. Yeah, you're, you're in a bad spot. Oh no, we're in a bad spot. How do I move? These are well endowed ghosts. I have to get out of here. These right stick to left. Oh look, a door. Oh no! She's got a... She grabbed our hand, oh no. Alright. How do I run? Don't run yet. Cannot run yet. Wow, I have to make her hair freak out a little bit. This ghost likes to block you. It's a very rude ghost. Likes to always get in front of me. Oh, but thank god, that door stopped the ghost. I have to find a way to get out of here. 
So, hair physics look pretty good. This seems like the era where things start to look like really good and nothing really needed to be changed. Except for that. Sometimes the hair resets. Oh no, that happens very consistently. I hope it's only because we can't run yet. Like she's keeping her hands out a little bit. Looks like there's a cable on the outside of the lattice. I can see some stone statues out in the darkness. It must be underground. Now how do I get out of here? Uh, I hope it's just because we're in a weird movement state. Oh, am I right? I was right. Now that her hands aren't like this, her hair isn't freaking the fuck out. We have a... There's light at the end of the corridor. Maybe there's a way out that way. Maybe there's ghosts. Oh no! More dead ghosts. Oh my god! They're chasing after me. I have to get out. LT to run. LT to run. I cannot move. Only four. Oh no! Are there, are there doorknobs there? Or is that just a test? It looked like some of it was uh, live action. It's hard to tell. It won't open. It's being held shut by a powerful voice. Press LT to point the camera. Oh, yeah. This might be a more mobile fatal frame. If there's like a quick turn. Oh, there was a quick turn mechanic before, but this is like shoving that down your face. That's right, down your face. Ah, uh, seems like modern control so far. That water. No, that's... That's water with something in it. I want to assume hair. Because it's usually hair. Oh, it's very goofy. Okay. That can't be the main villain, right? Oh. Uh, Hold the run. And this door is fortunately open now. That looked a little odd. That it just like closed suddenly. But it didn't like slam shut. It just kind of moved quickly to close. So, so far we've learned how to move and then move slightly faster. Not run, not even jog, just maybe a trot. To be fair, she never had a chance in hell of getting out of here. Unless another character comes in at this time frame to save her after we like play through their section. Like there's no way. She's in the box room after all. Which is full of hair. There's the hair. <laughs> Japanese horror loves evil hair. Oh no, her legs. Oh no, it's everywhere. Oh, she's just, just kind of taking it. I mean, I don't know what I expected her to do, but... She didn't really do anything. She just kind of stood there. She didn't struggle. She didn't try to run and get, like, caught up in it. Just, just got haired. Just got haired right to death. Yu Hinasaki has disappeared. But how did she get there? No one could hear her cries for help as she was sealed into a shrine on top of a mountain. That mountain is where the events of the story take place. Maybe we can save her. We follow the fates of her. Yuri, Ren, and... Oh, okay. She's my character. It's a 
terrifying tale of the supernatural. Thank you for letting us know what game we're playing. Isn't it weird when you know you're playing a horror game to tell the audience that don't forget you're playing a horror game? Seems unnecessary. First drop of Vanishing Trace. Yuri and Cozy Pop. Shadow reading among the residents of the villages at the foot of Mount Hikami. A certain unique ability has been passed in the ages. It's so unique, yet everyone has it in that village. This ability, known as shadow reading, enables the user to view the shadow or trace of someone lost in in inexplicable circumstances. This is not unlike the psychometry practiced elsewhere. Would you kindly define psychometry? Yuri Kazukata accompanies Hisoka Kurus Kurusawa, a woman who possesses the shadow reading ability to an abandoned inn on Mount Hikami. Okay, so our character doesn't have shadow reading. Kurusawa has shadow reading. Yes. Psychometry is an object reading of okay. Sensing Yuri could be in time. Sensing Yuri could in time become talented at shadow reading. Hisoka takes her along on assignment. Oh shoot, so she's gonna teach us. We need to learn about ghosts. Are you fucking serious? Okay. I never knew that. Thought that I'd be scared of death. I'm scared of this frame rate, but I can't even cry. Is there a wheelchair man behind you? Is there a man in a wheelchair strapped to the wheelchair? Oh, sorry, that's a different game. I am not alone. Uh, I am alone. And I am alone. And very dramatic. Therefore, I must go swimming. That's all this is about. She just loves to swim. Alone. Oh, oh, she's just thinking about it. She's just thinking about it. What you're looking for should be in here. This is an excellent chance for you to take the lead. Take this magic camera. It's magic. It's the camera obscura. It will let you see ghosts, including the clues that will help you find what you're looking for. Why I do, do I have? Do you have one? This is your opportunity, your first case. To answer that question, though, do you have a camera as well? I'm sure you'll do well. Oh, we actually get a train. In the hot springs, we get to train. Works exactly like a normal camera. Give it a try. I like how um, slimmed down everything is. Alright, you're in frame. Oh. Oh. Okay. Circle of clear on target. Photograph with. Portrait. Gotta get them points. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Shigo no sekai ni jikai mo. Oh, I did just move this to find the side. Be sure not to draw too much interest from the thing you see. If you aren't careful, you might be drawn to the other one. I think she was saying something before that I completely missed. Oh, find this. Oh, find the second one. Oh, she had. Oh, no! Photograph both of them. Man, what center frame on this picture, I wonder. Get the third one. Get all three. Wow, that's actually kind of neat. That is still pointing directly at her chest. That's new. I'm not gonna target with a square. Oh, cool. It's like an auto. It's auto aim. Free for you to take more pictures if you wish. Alright, we're good. Take this. Post-mortem photograph. Oh, that's a dead girl. Or guy. It's a dead person. It's a token. It will help you 
help lead you to what we're looking for. The game's loud. Okay. Let me uh, let's hope Alt Tab doesn't fucking break it. Or I'm quiet. Um uh ignore everything breaking for a second. It's fine. I'm just looking at some settings. What the hell? One second. So this is why we're another good reason to do this ahead of time. Uh this, the audio is that. You're gonna we're gonna lose audio for a second. Other than me. Look at me go. And then you're gonna get audio back. Full stream. I must have grabbed the wrong audio source. Somehow. Okay, now we should have audio, and it should work properly. I'm just gonna do it to this one too. Doing the shit live! Okay, thank you for pointing that out. I would love to get this shit fixed before Extra Life, because I don't want to do this that day. I have enough, enough going on that day. Press select. That's not select. Press start. Start is my map button. That's fine. Uh, pretty simple map. Can't seem to zoom in or out. LB and X. Any interesting moments and areas? Nope, nope. LB and X. LB and X? I think I was hitting LT. Welcome to snap mode. Here you can freely position and manipulate characters and ghosts in order to take the perfect picture. Camera operation mode, you can adjust the lens and frame, whereas in character operation mode, you can reposition characters, etc. Once everything is in place, remove the menu display and get snapping. Oh, it's a free... Of course this game would have this. But doesn't this remove the spooky? Wouldn't... Wouldn't... Uh, we're playing through this today. Because this isn't on extra. This game's way too long for extra life. Probably. Uh, we'll also likely go through it multiple times to get all the endings. So. That's neat. I just don't care. Uh, character operation mode. Placement cost. <laughs> oh, she's being possessed. Why can I do this already? What the fuck? Man from water, man from water, man from water, man from water. I think they need to fix the frame rate on that. This is super fucking weird. On test. Like, okay. It's really cool, and I don't know if that should be locked behind the first ending or not. I'm not sure. How do I take my fucking camera out? Why is it this button? What is... Okay, can I change my controls? Because my controls are not good. Uh... I can change the buttons for the keyboard. I guess I'm gonna have to just learn the way they want me to do it. Oh, operation mode. So I could have, so this is default. Y is ready camera, which is really weird to me. B is action, which is even stranger. Oh, I only have two choices here, okay. So, Ready camera and aim camera. Let's try. Let's try this. Show menu. Action. Dodge attack. What does Y do? Y doesn't have a fucking purpose on this mode. Run camera. Aim camera backward while running. Really? Pick up item. Focus. 
Let's try action. Oh, let's run. Did I, I'm sorry, did I not... Uh, did I not actually... No, I didn't. There we go. Oh, that's initiate strafe. Weird. Weird. I don't think I'll ever use LB for anything. I don't understand the purpose. Also, damn. Her everything just... Yeah, just... Oh, oh, oh. There we go. So, RB is run now. That's okay. Could be better. Uh, L... RT doesn't do anything yet. This is dodge, this is investigate, this is settings. It's super weird, but so is select. No, so is start. No, that's map. So I have to hit... X for the inventory. Let me just, I'm, I'm sorry I'm taking a while on this part, but this is what I'm gonna have to deal with for the rest of the fucking game. And I only have two choices here. X is always going to be show menu. B is always going to be action. M camera backward or run? Hmm. There's always a button missing. Either RB doesn't do anything or Y doesn't do anything. A is always dodge attack, B is always action. Yeah, X, B, and A are always the same thing. So do I want LT to be run, and then aim camera? I, I guess I'll go with classic. I didn't change it. And it's gonna take me a minute for these. Okay, so menu. Uh, dodge, item, camera, picture. Oh, excuse. Oh, look at that. Damn, that's neat. That's gonna matter later. I don't have a special ability yet. So artistic. Okay, so it resets. All right, let's get this show on the road. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought I could move the, the flashlight with my with the stick, with the right stick. Post mortem photograph, it's not just normal photograph. It was taken to mourn the dead. I think I missed a ghost already, by the way. I'm almost positive I did. But it seems that this photo came from somewhere around here, and he wants us to see whether we can find any more. Because there was like a marker near the top and I was too busy fucking with controls. Can you can you give me some personal space later? Is my head huge? Sorry. Is my head fucking huge? Look at her head. Look at my head. Jesus, we have a large head. Anime. Oh, what was that? Thick pieces of wood have been nailed to the window. Maybe they're here to protect against landslides. Or... Trees. The trees are breaking through, honestly. Ah. Uh, I forgot which button hit what's actually shoot. It's right trigger. Hands in water. So yeah, we missed one. Achievements already lost. We've already failed. Time to restart. Girl trot. Check this window if I can turn. Words have been nailed to the windows. Some light is seeping into the cracks, but the inside of the building is still quite dark. I still feel like a Fatal Frame game today, like if you made a new one, I think it'd sell pretty well. I don't think we have anything else on the market anywhere like this, other than the weird fucking terrible ripoff games that some people have made. A lot of Korean ones. 
I've, I meant to play them on stream, I just keep forgetting. And they're not very good, to be honest. Let's see here. There's a heap of scrap right at the end of the hallway. The water must have washed it all down here. There's a hole in the wall. I can see the next room over. It looks to be just as flooded. Oh yeah, Pokemon Snap, Fatal Frame, same thing. Same thing. Just, just charge into her. Oh god! Oh god! Your cat. Hey. Oh, that's normal. Hey, teacher, who's this guy you put in here? He's spooky. <laughs> Just stare at it some more. Does he have a tie? Uh. Yuri? Yuri, Yuri, you're gonna... Oh no, it's a ghost! Oh no, it's a ghost! Uh, Alright. Wow, she didn't give a fuck. Why didn't you give a fuck? The lighting's pretty good. We are always faintly glowing for some reason, but otherwise. There's a big hole in the wall leading to the pond. The light from the sunset is reflecting off the water, illuminating the room in an eerie glow. They're showing off their lighting engine. Hey girl. Gonna fight some spooky ghosts. Huh? Gonna step on something you shouldn't step on? Yuri, wait. Oh, there's food. I can sense something. Hold down RT to find the trail. Ooh. It's called the Trace, a shadow of the past. The token is showing you the way. Well, that's nice. The game kind of gives you a little more focus. These traces can lead you to the right path. If you get lost like a dumbass, just hold RT. I'm not going to go that way, though. No. I refuse. In fact, I don't think I... I mean, I don't need to. It's just a... It's a path. The ghost does look a little silly. I'm gonna go this way. Unless you tell me not to. Yuri. Fuck. She blocked me. I can't explore. This is also the tutorial, so... Ooh. Ooh, is that a fucking upgrade for my camera? The windows in this hallway have all been nailed shut. The menu is this button. Uh, enhancements. What do we get? Sensor. Increases attack distance. Shortens time between shots. Increases damage. Increased spirit power absorbed. And I forget what spirit power does. Not too many types. Requires a lot of points, though. We don't have much. And the film, of course. Oh, do we actually have a, all the photographs? We sure do. Neat. He's going that way. Well, I'm definitely not going that way. I'm going to go for this clearly trapped bed. Oh, it's a book. Oh. Oh. No. Excuse me? Is it telling me that there's just something there? Oh, I have to hold RT to pick it up? Am I going to get grabbed? Mount Hikami's Downfall. An old dusty book has been left in the hallway. Maybe somebody dropped it. Mount Hikami has been long has long con been considered a holy ground. For centuries, people have been drawn to the many sacred shrines and places of worship, as well as the natural features such as the Twilit Peak and the Pool of Purification, which have themselves been treated with great reverence. 
The mountain was also popular with tourists and mountain climbers for the beauty of its abundant clear waters and ancient mysterious forests. Worshippers and hikers alike used to find rest at Ichiro Manor, a hot spring resort near the foot of the mountain. Oh my god, there's so much. Now the inn lies desolate, devoid of visitors. The mountain never recovered from a devastating landslide it suffered many years ago. The shrine road to the summit was cut off, and the flow of water throughout the mountain was altered, forever changing the landscape. New roads were under construct new roads that were under construction had to be abandoned, and Ichiro Manor was buried under a slew of rock, resulting in numerous fatalities. Among those lost were the family of Ichiro Manor's proprietor, effectively putting an end to the business. Mount Hakami's days as a tourist destination were no more. Instead, the mountain gained notoriety as a suicide spot. Perhaps because it was traditionally a destination to which the dying would venture, the mountain is now a place for those wishing to end their own lives. By extension, it has also become a place for thrill-seekers interested in the occult. Ghost! Man peeking through. Gotcha. Gotcha, man peeking through. Oh! 